Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 3 of 8-Ball Pool. Now last episode I had a network error where my Wi-Fi crashed and because of that I had lost the game. And that is why we are down to only 3,610 coins. Now that to me annoys me. If you also notice our win percentage went down a few. So let's get into today's video by collecting all our coins and let's get off to a good start by doing a little one-on-one -on -one warm up in Moscow. Yeah. I can't believe my Wi-Fi crashed. I was I was mad cuz we would have gotten our goal of 7,000 coins too. <clears throat> Excuse me. We would have gotten it. But don't always get what you get. Life is full of disappointments. So we are going to go ahead and pocket three balls actually on that break. Two of them being solids. And it looks like this is actually going to be a fair solids game. So that is going to work to our advantage. So we're going to go ahead and pot in the number one. And then I believe we're going to go for the number six. Yep, that's what I'm going for. Number six is going in. Now we're in perfect position for the number two ball. Go ahead and hit that ball in next. Now that means we are good for the number five ball and the number seven, if we, seven, excuse me, if you like. But the five is in a little bit easier of a position. And hey, we may even be able to get the number seven in now. So we will go ahead and position that. We got that ball, number seven in. And ooh, can we? Get we can get the eight ball in, guys. Guys, we just won the game. This is our second time not letting our opponent have a chance of going, but the first time my recording crashed. So I'm glad this was recording and this was rolling. And we got this. What a way to start out the video. That was great. Let's see. He wants to play again. So do we. We want to play again too. Let's go into game number two with guest 571702010092. He has a break, let's go ahead and check out his specs. He's an okay player, he has three London rings. 139 games so far he's played. And I don't know if he's trying to copy our break, no he's not. And it looks like he hasn't pocketed anything in. And he put us in a pretty good position to get the number three ball in, I believe that is. Yes, it is. But now we don't really have a choice on what we can get in. Maybe we can squeeze the number seven in? We might be able to, guys. Just full power might barely squeeze by. We managed to do so. And can we get the blue in? We, we now can get the blue in as well. I say blue. I need to, I need to start calling these by the actual balls that they are. So we can get the number three in now. All right, now we're in a kind of a weird position here, where we won't. Yeah, I say that we just go for like a little combination shot here. Yeah, even though we scratch, we still got one of our balls in. So let's see what he's going to do, where he's going to move the ball. Very critical where he needs to move it. Yeah, if I were him, I'd move it over there, kind of break it up a little bit. So it's easier to uh, get the rest of his balls pocketed. It looks like he's going to be going for the 14, easy. Should be going for the 9 now, should be an easy pocket in the top left corner. If he does it at that angle though, he isn't going to get it. Nope, he's not going to get it. So now, he has not really set us up very good. The only thing that I can pitch here right now is a bank shot into the top center hole. So that is what we are going to do. Let's add some backspin. We actually missed a shot and we scratched in the progress. Yeah, I'm still kind of learning the... Uh, bank shot process here so excuse me he is now going to go for 
it looks like the number 15 ball. He had a good angle there. I don't know why he didn't. He, he, he'll, he'll get it there. Let's see, what is he going to do? And he's going to pocket it. And now he's in perfect position for the number 12 ball. This will be a very easy pocket. If you miss this, come on, man. You can do it. He's going to pocket that as well. Now he's in perfect position for the 11, for the 10, and that's really it. He can go for the 11 or the 10. Looks like he's going for the 10, bottom left corner. He's got a good angle. Let's see how hard he's going to hit it. And now he's in a okay position for the number 9 ball in the top right corner. He's not getting the 13 in. Number 9 ball positioning. Nope, he's not going to get it if he hits it like that. So we are still kind of in a weird position. We can get the number 4 in, but our two balls over there are still cluttered. So if the ball stops right there, we might, just might be able to go for a combination shot. Just might be able to. So that is what we are going to do. We've actually missed a combination shot. That was a tricky one anyway. And he's kind of in a tricky position. No, not really. He can get the 9 or the 13. Let's see what he is going to go for. like his Wi-Fi must be slow because it isn't our it isn't our Wi-Fi our Wi-Fi is like literally two feet away that's how close I am to our Wi-Fi so either he quit the game and it's lagging or he's just lagging in general wait a few more seconds here yep his game was just lagging in general looks like he should be going for the nine yep that's what I go for is a nine top right corner pocket easily pocketed now we should go for the 13 and the yep that pocket right there the center top he'll get it if he hits it at that angle which he has and he should and he really should be able to get the 11 I'm not sure if the uh, I don't yeah he'll get it he's got it so Except now he's in a weird position for the 8 because it's almost vertically lined up with the cue ball. He's going to go for that pocket and he's going to miss it, guys. There's no way he's getting that in. Excuse me. Wow, I didn't think he'd get it in. Well, since he won that round, we're going to ask for another rematch to even things out. This one, winner takes all. Hopefully, though, he's not going to be a douchebag and leave us. So we're going to ask for, I want to play again. And he's going to take the money and run. I figured as much. Well, I guess, guys, just for the just for the heck of it, we'll do, we'll do one more Moscow. We'll do one more Moscow because we that first game is really fast. So we might be able to squeeze in a third one in here. Hopefully, though, this game will go as fast as the other one. And hopefully, we'll win again. <laughs> So, wind up, bottom spin, we actually pocketed the ball in the top left corner instead of the top right corner, that's fairly odd, but hey, any pockets are good. So we're going to go ahead, and this looks like it's going to actually be a easy, it doesn't look like it's going to be an easy anything game to be honest, so we're just going to go ahead and hit a stripe spin since that was the first ball that was hit in. We are now going to go for the number 13 ball. Easy enough. Um, let's see, what do we want to go for now, I believe? We... Nope, we're not going to be able to squeeze that by. Maybe go for a combination shot? Just maybe? 
Nope, never mind. Let's go ahead and check this guy's specs out while it's his turn. He's a decent player. He's 61.4%, 70 games won. He's ranked as amateur. And we are an amateur as well. We have 65.0%. So we have a bit more of an advantage on him. He's in a kind of an awkward position. Oh, nope, there we go. He's can easily get the 7 in. He has done that. Now he should be able to easily get the number six ball in the top left corner. The number six ball would be easier than the five, to be honest. Although he has managed to get the five ball in. Oh, he's perfectly set up. He can get the four. He can hit the six. He can even hit the one. He is going to go for the number six ball. Yes, he is. Number six ball. He's easily got that pocket. And now he should go for the number one ball. Top right corner. But he's not, actually. Maybe he should go for number two, actually. The two would be easier. But he doesn't know it. He just did a yellow shot. So he's, he has set us up perfectly for the number ten ball. We are going to go ahead and hit that in with a little bit of backspin to break that up. Perfect. Now we're going to go for the number 14 ball, bottom right corner. Easy shot. And we're going to go for the number 12 ball, bottom left corner. Another easy shot. And now we are... Let's see, what do we want to do? Can we squeeze the number? I think we'll be better off doing the number nine bottom right corner. So we are going to do that. We potted it just fine. And now we are in perfect position for the eight ball bottom right corner. So we are going to go ahead and call that pocket. Once this connection resumes, Bottom right corner, line it up, shoot it, and take the victory. So yeah, guys, that was a that was a good game. Good game. I tell him good game. Connection slow. <laughs> At least it didn't crash, and hopefully it still doesn't crash. But yeah, we won two out of three games that we played today. Not bad. Uh, the second game was just ridiculous because we were just missing our shots left and right. It should have been easy shots. <laughs> but yeah, that first game, though, that was a great first game. We dominated the other person. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I think next video we'll, uh, we'll set a goal. I'm sorry. We'll set another goal to go past 7,000 again since we lost. A connection last time and that's why we were down to 3,000 so we're about the same amount of money that we were when we started the last time's video and we said we wanted 7,000 so that'll be our goal for next video to get past 7,000 so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and have a Merry Christmas